ओके वेलकम बैक टू बी ए बेटर टेकि ना विल सी हाउ दि मई एस क्यू एल सर्वी कैन बी क्रियेट इन दि ए डब्ल्यू एस सर्वी ओके दिस वन आफ दि क्लौड सर्वी नौ विल सी दि डीटेल अंड आल सी आलरे ई क्रियेटेड आल दि रिसोर्स एंड दि नेटर्किंग बिकाज इट मे टेक् टाइम वी नीड टू कंप्लीट दिस एज मच एस एर्ली ओके Uh, now i will go through the block diagram and then i will show the things in the aws console see for creating of any aws uh, resource in cloud then we need to create the network infrastructure then only we can proceed for further uh, resource creation and all so in this case what uh, what is my intention is i want to create one mysql server in aws uh, console but instead of a uh, outsider so aws is providing the mysql service so i am using that service okay here what we are having we are having one vpc okay i am taking here uh, any any application suppose in case if we take the reliance then it will be all the terminology will be in reliance like reliance vpc reliance subnets and reliance mysql databases like this okay now uh, in this case i took the reliance vpc this is the vpc uh, when we are studying what we learn in our education system if we go for any network then how it will be it will be like this uh, simply we are drawing the network right so we will go with the same example so this is one of the subnet uh, before going to that uh, let me explain the uh, some architecture flow okay uh, here i am creating two private sub two private subnets that is private reliance private subnet 1 and reliance private subnet 2 and i created one more public subnet my intention is i need to install the mysql server in these two private instances with the help of subnet grouping and uh, whatever public subnet were right in that public subnet i am going to create the ec2 instance here i am going to install the mysql client whatever the updated version that version i am installing so from here i am communicating with the mysql server this is the main intention okay now before creating the resources we need to create the uh, networking right uh, so we'll see how these things i am not going to uh, do each and every network component but to accommodate this requirement what are the uh, network components we need to use that we are going to see okay so here as i said uh, we are going to create two private subnets and uh, hope we are aware we can achieve the firewall functionality in aws by using the security groups and the nacl rules okay network access control list see uh, here at the resource level whatever security group we are, uh, whatever security we are providing right that we are treated as a security group so security when we are providing at the network level subnet subnet level okay subnet level then we treated as a nacl network access control list okay here one thing we need to remember this security group is stateful and nacl is stateless what is that means stateful means if when i am allowing one port means the inbound traffic as ssh then we no need to provide the outbound as ssh because it will remember the state what are the incoming port enabled same thing is allowing at the outbound so security group is a state full protocol whereas nsl is a stateless means it won't remember what are the input we need to parallelly provide the outbound traffic rules as well 
how to remember this one means if you uh, see this is the ec2 instance right if the security is near to this ec2 obviously if persons are near to us then we can remember right so this like that we can remember security group is stateful hope you got the example see if people are uh, nearer to us then we can easily able to remembering them if people are outside there is no communication then we may not remember those persons similarly uh, this is one blind rule okay uh, in security group it's a stateful and nsl nsl network access control is a stateless okay now okay uh, i created these two three subnets two private and one public subnet now to make this subnet as public by default whatever subnets we are creating inside the vpcs are private to make one of the subnet as public subnet then, then what we need to do we need to create the internet gateway this internet gateway we need to create and attach at the vpc level so once vpc is created then we need to create the this is the reliance igw the same uh, terms only i used at the aws console okay now i created one of the routing table why this routing table i need to allow this public traffic in this routing table so i created one root table that is reliance rtb here i am allowing the public traffic so this i am attaching to the public network okay and uh, the ip addresses what i am using uh, 172.10.0.0.0 that is the cidr i am using for vpc so obviously i am going for each subnet with the specified limited set of ip addresses okay uh, this is 172.10.1.0 and this is 2.0.24 and this is 3.0.24 okay this is how i made this particular subnet as a public subnet now uh, by default these are private subnet so now what here i am going to do uh, this uh, private subnets i am assigning to the respective availability zone this is one availability zone and for another private subnet i am creating in another availability zone 1b okay now what i am uh, going to uh, here means i am creating three subnet uh, three security groups why three se security groups even two security groups also fine for time being we'll ignore this ec2 instance this i place just for testing purpose but our intention is to create the mysql server instance in aws okay first uh, we need to create uh, navigate to the rds service then there we need to create the subnet group in this subnet group we need to provide these two private subnets availability zones and the subnet related information if time permits then i will show how to create the subnet group as well okay once subnet group is created then we need to create the rds service but before creating rdc rds uh, service we need to create the security group because rds is one resource as we discussed earlier security groups can be applicable at the resource level see the rds is one of the resource so here we can create the rds but what rules inbound and outbound traffic we need to provide that we are going to see in the aws console okay uh, so we need to create one security group at the rds level that is reliance mysql db security group and for public subnet whatever instance we are creating right ec2 instance that we are going to create another security group okay then we need to install the mysql client uh, latest version in this ec2 instance then we need to ping this one 
uh, this is how the network will be present okay now i'll navigate to the console then i'll show each and everything okay first we'll navigate to the vpc but how to create and all uh, that is simple one we can refer other videos as well how to create resources and all but in our case we'll see how uh, these instances are present okay uh, at the vpc level i created one vpc okay if you see this is the vpc details and this is the cider block i given now once vpc is completed then what we need to create the subnets subnets inside the vpc see i created three subnets two private subnets one reliance private subnet one private subnet two and another one is the public subnet by default when we create any subnet it is uh, uh, treated as a private subnet okay so uh, this is private subnet now to make any subnet as public what we need to do we need to create the internet gateway then we need to attach that internet gateway to the vpc uh, this is the public subnet if you see here uh, we need to create one root table and we need to attach the internet gateway to that root table okay this is the root table i created reliance rtb root table and these are the uh, associations i did see when we are giving 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 this means we are allowing outsiders to communicate to this particular subnet via this internet gateway okay now this is if you want we can yeah and uh, we created one of the public NACL uh, reliance public NACL what is this means if you see here i want to communicate i want to communicate the resources present in, inside this subnet so what i need to do i need to allow the inbound traffic if you see here for nacl the rules should be defined in a numbered format okay the number may be the least number will be treated as a highest preference so here i am allowing all the traffic from outsider people this is the inbound rule okay and as we uh, discussed previously nacl is a stateless protocol because uh, the nacl is very far to this ec2 instance compared to security group so it's a stateless so we need to provide the outbound details as well so it will send any details to the outside people as well okay uh, now i am navigating uh, this is about the public subnet and these are the private subnet these private subnets root table if you observe this is the default root table okay i am not provided any uh, anyone to communicate outside okay yeah why we provided here inbound rules means see our intention is uh, here we are having the rds resource means mysql server now what are these rules means i want to if i launch any of the instance in this private network then what we need to do we need to communicate so if i want to ping from public resource to any resource in the private SSH I need to enable so I enabled the SSH here from where from outside and here I am providing some more inbound access see I want to access to this resource by default this is the port 
डबल थ्री जीरो सिक्स इज दी फोर्थ वी आर एक्सपोजिंग फॉर दी मैस्क्यूल डेटा ट्रांसमिशन सो दि सोर्स विल बी वी आर गिविंग फ्रम विथिन दिस सबनेट रिसोर्स ओनली एबल टू ऐक्स दिस वन ओके अंड दीस आर दि सम अदर पोर्ट एच डी टी पी एंड एच डी पी एस एंड ऐम अलोइंग दिस आलो फ्रम अवटसइड अवटसइड आफ दि वीपीसी नेटवर्क एस वेल एंड वन आफ दि कस्टम टी सी पी दिस एनेबल एंड दिस इज दि डनामिक पोर्ट रेंज आर दि प्राइवेट पोर्ट रेंज वेर दि आर डी एस सर्वीस कैन ट्रांसफर दि डेटा ओके बट वित् दिस रूल वी कैन एबल टू कम्युनिकेट मे बी वन दि कम्युनिकेशन इज सक्से देन विल ट्राइ टू रिमूव वन बै वन रूल देन विल सी हाउ इट इज बिहेविंग ओके नो दिस इज अबउट दि सबनेट प्राइवेट सबनेट एंड दिस इज अनदर प्राइवेट सबनेट ओके टू प्राइवेट सबनेट द रूल्स विल बी सेम दिस इज दि रूटिंग टेबल एज इट इज नाट अवेलेबल टू दि पब्लिक सो आई एम नाट प्रोवैडेड एनी route to this private network and this is also same network why because i applied this nacl okay this nac uh, whatever the network nacl rules right these nacl rules one nacl rule can be assigned to multiple sub networks okay one rule can be assigned to multiple sub -networks. so i created one private nacl then i assigned this nacl to this two private subnets why prove why two subnets okay uh, we just uh, discussed the inbound only right now this is the outbound rules outbound rules also same for both the things so nacl uh, it is a stateless right so once the request is coming from outside then we need to provide a response as well so we uh, as it is stateless it won't remember the ports so i am providing mysql this is the default port i need to send information to the outside people not only this uh, even all the traffic we are sending Okay, this is the destination I provided. Now, okay, one by one we will try to remove. Then we'll see how it will behaves. Okay, now these are the subnets, private subnets under. This is the normal infrastructure uh, as of now we created. Now, see if you want to create a resource, any resource, EC two instance at the public, then we can create. and we can uh, try to communicate with the other services okay now i am uh, navigating to the rds service so relational database service here aws providing multiple databases it is providing but how to create and all uh, that we will see later part first we will see the communication okay Uh, to create any database at the uh, aws we need to create through the subnet groups this subnet groups are nothing but two private subnet i treated as a one subnet group that is the reason i attached this two private subnets as a single entity reliance subnet group and here i created the uh, reliance mysql the database okay reliance db mysql i created the things okay now i'll write to communicate and uh, we'll see again the console how we can create the database instances and all okay now i'm having a client okay uh, this is one of the client to communicate to the uh, linux instances okay This is such. Uh, already, I am having one key pair in my local, so I am trying to communicating. Ubuntu. 
to at the rate i need to provide the first i'll be uh, going into the ec2 instance okay okay ec2 instance we need the public ip address how to create uh, this ec2 instance these are small things so i am not going to show that information okay i created one of the ec2 instance the name like jump box i given here this is the public ip address as it is public network right so from windows machine i am connecting to the ec2 instance i can able to connect successfully and what i did i created one more ec2 instance one more private uh, ec2 instance at the private subnet see directly we can't communicate from outside we can't communicate to this ec2 instance via this public instance only we can able to communicate any of these private resources because it's a private for that what we need to do whatever the key pair whatever the key pair is there right private key that we need to transfer from this box to sorry see suppose i am having windows mission here i am having the key pair so from windows i can connect to ec2 presently i did because the private key is present in windows mission in this path now if we need to communicate from this jump box to this private resource the private the whatever private key is there right that private key has to be present here then only we can able to communicate so we need to transfer the private key with the help of uh, scp command okay like scp dot pem file i am transferring to the ubuntu this is the location i am transferring ubuntu and this is the private ip sorry public ip in into this instance i am going to copy the ssh okay so as the key is available inside this uh, ec2 machine so even i can communicate from here to even the private instance as well okay like uh, ssh ssh ubuntu key pair ubuntu as user then we need to provide the private ip address what is the private address of this instance this is private ec2 okay yeah this is the private ip address the ip address is changed now we are in private ec2 instance so this is about the communication now i am coming outside the private ec2 instance now i am in this jump box okay here i already installed the uh, sql mysql client uh, by using this commands sudo apt update hyphen by this will updates the hello list and sudo apt install hyphen by mysql client 8.0 because i installed mysql server 8.0 version so the client also i installed the compatible version now when i try to communicate to the server by using mysql hyphen h the database endpoint name and hyphen u username and the password this is the password i placed to my sql server okay now i am going to communicate yeah if you see here now from my jump box i can able to communicate to the database i created inside the aws okay now i am in my sql console uh, in like this we can able to communicate to mysql database now uh, let me stop this
this one uh, like uh, first i'll delete the instance i created then i'll try to create one more instance okay uh, but it will take time okay if it is taking much time then i can ignore i don't want any snapshot there is no automated backup also i don't want any backup i am acknowledging it so i am delete. The deleting may take some time okay now how to create a new instance okay not sure whether it will allow or not but before creating any rds service we need to create the subnets okay uh, this is the existing subnet uh, let me create one more subnet uh, instead of reliance uh, let me create geo okay assume uh, geo subnet i am going to create geo subnet subnet group description and all optional things okay even we can ignore it once my subnet is ready then we can create the database this is the reliance vpc we need to choose at at which vpc level we are going to create the subnets and these are the availability zones here the availability zones means i created the private subnets in availability zone 1a and 1b availability zone 1a and 1b so i am choosing these two as availability zones okay and what are these subnets see these subnets are i need to select the private subnets so 1.0 and 2.0 these are the private subnets so i selected this private subnets here we won't get the subnet names based on ips only we need to identify which is the private cedar okay then at bottom we need to select the uh, once the regions we selected we can go for the subnet selection this is how we can create the subnets if i click on uh, create it will create but already i am having the subnet group right i don't i don't want to create one more thing fine uh, now let me try to create the one more database okay uh, create database here previous one is still in deleting state not sure whether it will allow us to create one more free tire or not okay create database here we need to select the standard and this is the engine options see these are the uh, databases aws is presently supporting like amazon aurora mysql mariadb postgresql sql oracle and microsoft sql server so in our case let us choose the mysql server and this is the latest version we are going with the latest version now see uh, if we go for production dev and test it will be chargeable so for our test case we can go with the free tier that will be sufficient okay now we need to select the database like geo db as you anyway at the end we are not creating okay what are the options present and what are the things see if you want we can go with the root uh, admin or we can change this to the user defined thing root and my password will be anything here they provided the some constraints we need to satisfy that constraints then only we can create for time being i am going to create the welcome bar welcome bar same thing here as well now this is instance configuration business bustable class uh, this let it be as default and storage by default they are providing the general purpose ssd 
and storage auto scaling we don't need any auto scaling as we are for testing only and these are the some default selection yeah here virtual private cloud here this database in which vpc we are going to deploy i means creating so reliance vpc i am going to create and this is the uh, db subnet group see previously we created a right geo subnet similarly already i am having one reliance subnet group we need to select this subnet group as well this subnet group represent private subnets contains in that sub uh, in that subnet group okay so public access i chosen as you know and choosing existing uh, create new yeah this is the security group as database is one of the resource right we can create this security group at resource level so i have already created one security group for this database what uh, what is that security group means this is the reliance mysql security group okay reliance mysql security group let me show that security group once okay uh, so at, at security group what are the inbound and outbound things we are allowing we can get to know is internet gateway fine yeah we need security groups see in our case we are having three resources right so obviously three security groups i created but what are the inbound and outbound things i am allowing means let me show this is a reliance mysql db security group what are the inbound traffic we are allowing here if you observe edit inbound roles yeah this is the security group uh, in this security group we need to allow this mysql traffic from where within this vpc so this is the security group if any request is coming within this vpc range instances to fetch information from this mysql then we are allowing okay so mysql we are allowing the tcp and this is the subnet range and another thing is we are allowing the other traffics from the custom custom in the sense uh, only from this public network alone we are allowing means in this case in this case either one rule is sufficient i think so uh, wait this subnet range is different but this is the global right 172.10 this is not at all required means we provided access to other subnet other vpc cedar range machines also can communicate but it is not required right yeah. uh, this is the inbound rule means i am allowing all the traffic within this network and it's a security group right obviously it will remember the inbound things so we no need to explicitly provide the range this is the all traffic we are sending to the outside this is about one security group and we are having the private security group as well uh, where this the, for this instance also we created one security group here what are the inbound rules inbound rules are simple just we are doing ssh that's it right from public network just we did ssh actually here we are not performing any operation on this instance just for testing we created this instance so in the inbound just i added only ssh only 
no outbound we no need to add it will remember all the things and then we are having one more uh, reliance public subnet group this is the subnet group applicable at the public subnet group resource here just ssh i am providing i think so Here, anyone communicate with this EC2 instance. So, I am allowing all the things. Here, we no need to allow all the things. Even we can restrict to only SSH. Okay. Okay. Once DB is created, then uh, we'll try to do all the all these permutations. Okay. Now, again, I am navigating to the RDS. Here, I am choosing the mysql security group okay default by default my uh, reliance mysql security group okay and which availability zone availability zone no preference if you are not giving any preference i think automatically it will create if you won't get any validation, fine. Now I am creating the geo database. See, previous one I think it is deleted. Now we created recently geo database, right? Now we'll try to ping to this database whether we can able to connect or not. Okay. Okay, for creation, I think it will take some more time. Yeah, and now we'll go to our block diagram. We can create any resource from the console easily. Okay, in YouTube, we can get multiple videos how to create any resources or any subnets and all okay or uh, maybe in further sessions we will try to create all these machines and all i think rds will take some time GODB. successfully deleted RTS databases still it is in creating state only see uh, uh, for time being I provided uh, high range access but we can restrict this access to narrow down to only single instance means anyone can communicate to this public like that i provided in the security group that we can restrict restrict to only from my ip address only like that we can uh, do the restrictions as well Security, Reliance Public Security Group. Now I am going to modify these rules and will verify it. Okay. Inbound. This inbound custom from anywhere. Any IP address. Okay. From outside world, we can communicate to this AC2 instance. From outside world, we can communicate to this AC2 instance. and the outbound will be we no need to specify any rule by default it will allow all the traffic what are the other subnet uh, reliance yeah if you go for this one right here previously i am having a different thing as well See, this is Reliance MySQL DB security group here. 
see we no need to provide anyone can communicate to this database from outside right our intention is only resources available in this public subnet only able to communicate with this one so we can restrict this one here but once it is created then we are going to modifying those rules okay okay backing up it is taking yeah. previously we didn't get the endpoint that is in create state now we got the endpoint how to connect means just replace that endpoint and try to communicate it okay exit i'm doing okay uh, before communicating at least we need to navigate to the public instance right so ssh ssh Right. We need to provide the public IP address, okay? EC2. We need EC2. We need public EC2 IP address. Once we log in into the public EC2 instance, from there we can communicate because there only we are having EC2 client okay now when we communicate uh, go through console mysql hyphen h endpoint name hyphen u username hyphen p password password okay password i given wrong it's not this one it's a welcome one welcome one yeah password is welcome one not welcome hash one okay now i can able to connect now um, exit we are coming outside then we'll try to modify this security group level see uh, this is the security group presently means anyone outside people also can communicate but no i want only resources from this vpc only can communicate so what we need to provide we need to provide the custom range like 172 only within this subnet resources only able to communicate like this i modified the security group at this db now uh, let's try to communicate one more time see we can able to communicate assume if we change this rule head sorry outbound rule will modify the okay outbound rule also fine instead of sending data to anyone only that machine only we are sending um, we we'll navigate to the inbound rules inbound rule all traffic we are allowing presently right let's try to restrict okay this is already restricted only i restricted to this public network resource only not even the vpc level resources here we no need to modify anything the security groups are already narrowed down now um, reliance this is fine this 
this our public okay now we'll navigate to the NACL level and we'll try to modify there okay security groups are fine already we narrowed it down now uh, this is the NACL NACL for this subnet group okay here if we are not selecting any NACL right by default VPC create one NACL that NACL only will be applicable to the other instances yeah my intention is see now I can exit I can able to communicate with the private instance right. uh, let me take the private instance IP address this is the private IP address This is public IP address SSH. I can able to connect to the private network but when I modify here the SSH role if I remove then I can't communicate and here one thing is we are allowing source as anything okay let me try to edit and I'll remove this entire role itself so that we can't do SSH now let me save this one save changes and control Control D also not working because there is no traffic, right? Now, first let me navigate to the EC2 public instance. From there, I will try to ping SSH, but it won't allow me because I removed the SSH rule in this NACL list. So, I can't do SSH, okay. let me first navigate to the public instance okay I need public IP address this is the public IP address oh, I mean public from public to private instance when I try to communicate it won't allow me because I remove to remove the SSH rule okay go to instances take the private instance IP address SSH see already my private key is copied in this Ubuntu uh, jump box okay this is the private IP address no it won't allow it will be hanged state because I removed the uh, this one 
but okay fine our intention is not to test this one okay our intention is just to communicate the database I mean EC2 jump box here anyway we can able to communicate right now our intention is we are trying to cut down the inbound rules for the NACL rules NACL rules are the private Reliance private NACL okay uh, see this traffic is required what about HTTP HTTPS and the custom port Maybe for software installations and all, it may require. But as of now, for communication, we don't need any private ports as well. We'll see whether we can able to communicate it or not. First, let me check now whether we can able to communicate with the MySQL or not. Access the mail for root. Password will be welcome one. Yes, I can able to connect. Okay. Now I am outside. Fine. Let me remove this custom rule as well. What is the need? Just uh, whenever MySQL request is coming from outside people uh, inside this port. Okay. Then I will allow and I will send the data. Maybe via HTTP port or HTTPS port. We will try that as well. Now. Yes, I removed it and I saved seems to be not saved. Okay, fine. Let me save this one and we will try to communicate one more time. Now also I can able to communicate. So custom ports also not required. Now I am exiting again. Again I am trying to here modifying few more rules. Maybe response we are sending uh, HTTP or HTTPS, right? Just I will try to HTTPS I remove. Okay. Even then also I can able to communicate. Good. HTTP is not required. Just only this MySQL port default 3306 is enough I think. Even now also you can able to communicate even HTTP also not required. If I remove this one right then it won't work out. Because if any request is coming to this port if we are blocking this port it won't serve the request. And this request I given to all the subnet level right. We no need to provide entire subnet level. Even we can provide to this particular uh, public subnetwork only. Uh, let's try to edit that one also then we'll see first I'll remove it then I'll create it again okay yeah. now I think see there is no inbound rule for this RDS service so we are unable to communicate we are getting like this issue Okay, and uh, this is one thing and what about the outbound rule outbound rules all also we are alloy all also we can remove okay but before removing make sure we need to create the inbound rule what are the inbound rule add rule it should be some sort order it will calculate here I need mysql aurora default see previously i provided the entire the vpc level but i don't need entire vpc level 172 if the request is coming with it my public sub network then only i am going to allow slash 24 save changes yeah now i restricted only if request is coming from this sub network resources 
public subnet sir then only i am allowing okay able to connect now uh, in the outbound rules uh, here only response from this port only fine I think this is also not required seems to be what is the need of providing all traffic let me try to remove it whether we can get the response or not Now let me connect. Now I am connecting, but where it has to send the uh, output data. So we need to provide the outbound traffic as well because it won't remember the which uh, things it has to send the information. So let me change and add the outbound rule as allow add rule 100 all traffic instead of destination as all i can go to the very narrow level 10 dot only public sub network resources only slash let me save this one now see immediately the screen is refreshed and it is allowed like this the inbound and outbound traffic rules we need to frame it uh, we, ne we need to navigate it as much narrow as possible so that our resources will be in a secure manner hope all the things are clear uh, if you need more information then okay from the outside okay thank you i'm stopping this one i think it's very big discussion yeah thank you